We're bundled up. Over, over, We're ready for this, okay? Over Bring it on. Track with us. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's a changing climate in the weather department. I can't talk. <laughs> it's so cold outside. <laughs> yes, outside. You can't see your breath this inside. Is what you need, right? But this is exactly what you need the coats, the scarves, the gloves. You'll need to bundle up this morning. It's a weather aware day. The reason for the weather aware today, though, is because of the dramatic change in temperatures. 26 is the current now in Birmingham. The sun is starting to rise over the Magic City. Look, change of wardrobe right there. We're looking at 26 in Birmingham, but it feels more like 18 degrees outside when we add in that north wind at about six miles an hour. Winds are calm in Anniston. The sky is clear. 29 is that current temperature. It feels more like 20 in Anniston. 26 in Tuscaloosa, feeling more like the upper teens. And this polar plunge is making its advance across the midsection of the nation, finally reaching the east coast there and headed to the deep south. Here's something interesting to note. Temperatures just a moment ago were 34 in New York. They're still 29. It's colder in Birmingham, Alabama than it is in the Big Apple. It's just as cold as Buffalo, New York. That doesn't happen very often, so that gives you a very good good picture of just how cold this air is. I don't want anyone shocked when they step outside. Now, it will still be a shock to the system when you step outside this morning, but I don't want anyone to be surprised or caught off guard by the cold air. So dress the part this morning. Here's a look at your future cast. We're staying in the 30s at or below freezing even through mid morning. It doesn't look like we'll climb above the freezing mark until about 11 a.m. today for some places and then afternoon temperatures may not even climb out of the upper 30s. Aniana, you're staying at 39, 36 in Coleman, but we'll hit that 40 degree mark here in Birmingham, 42 in Alabaster, same with Pell City. As we advance the clock through the evening hours, we will fall back to that freezing mark of 32 degrees by 7 o'clock tonight. So if you have outdoor plans, it's Friday. A lot of folks going to be out and about this evening. Just be sure to bundle up, grab the scarves, grab the coats, and the boots, maybe. Here's a look at tomorrow morning. We're back in the 20s yet again. Tomorrow, a near repeat performance performance of today. The only change tomorrow is that we could see those afternoon temperatures, maybe four to six degrees warmer when it's all relative, right? Whether it's 40 or 46, it's all still pretty chilly and well below average even for this time of year. So 230 tomorrow, 47 in Birmingham, 44 in Coleman for your Saturday. We'll still see an abundance of sunshine both today and tomorrow. Really today is the only weather aware day just because of the very big shift in the weather pattern in 24 hours. You know it's going to be cold today. So in, and when I say it's going to be a near repeat performance tomorrow, we don't need to necessarily make you aware of that. It's just going to be cold again. Slight warm up Sunday, but then those changes arrive Monday into Tuesday. More rains on tap as we start the week and a few showers will leave an even linger into the middle part of the week. Sun shines back by Thursday, but we'll also notice a bit of a roller coaster ride of temperatures. Low 40s today, back close to 60 by Monday or Tuesday, and then back in the mid 40s by next week. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Now, let's get a check on that morning commute here.